hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this particular video is especially for uh, those students who have qualified CSIR December 2019 exam the exam which held last year so for them there is a new notice which have been published on the CSIR official website so if you'll open the website this is the official website you don't have to open the NTA website okay it's the CSIR official website uh, the link will be provided in the description over here so you can just go on that link and open the uh, website and if you'll scroll that down a little bit you will find out this CSIR UGC net exam over here you have this like uh, CSIR UGC net exam notice so you can click over there or you can scroll a little bit down more and you will get over here in news and announcement section uh, regarding the notice uh, regarding issue of certificates to qualify CSIR uh, UGC net December 2019 so just click on this and you will be redirected to a particular notice over here now you can clearly see that this particular notice which is here is for the uh, for those students who have qualified and whose roll numbers are listed in part one of the result okay uh, now if you have seen the result the whole pdf of the result uh, you might be aware about this that there are few sections in the result there were some parts in the result i will show you the result also okay so uh, those whose name is there in the part one of the result uh, they are requested to send these certificates to them okay now before telling you all these things let me first of all tell you about that to whom this certificate or to whom this particular notice is actually about so if you look upon this CSIR UGC net exam the exam is basically uh, for the two things one is for your UGC net uh, which we also call it call as LS okay so this UGC net is also called as LS and the other one is for CSI UGC JRF so uh, if a certain student qualifies JRF which is of a higher uh, like uh, higher cutoff so if someone qualifies this JRF he can be uh, like randomly he is being selected for CSIR JRF or UGC JRF so based upon that particular thing his role number will be there in the in the in the complete uh, list of the qualified students his role number will be there and in that list or in that particular result it will be mentioned that whether he has qualified UGC JRF or he has qualified CSIR JRF so that particular notice is actually only for this CSIR JRF okay so if you are only net qualified then this video is not for you uh, for you guys I'll be making a separate video that how to download or how to get the uh, net certificate or LS certificate for those who are UGC JRF uh, you don't have to send any document as per as I know up till yet like up till now uh, they were not asking for any certificate I don't know whether they will ask in future or not but generally UGC does not ask for any certificates to to send them okay they will directly send you the uh, the JRF letter uh, to your permanent address whatever address you have been filled in your uh, CSIR net form for these CSIR JRF students who have qualified under the CSIR category for them this notice is actually about so here is the result pdf which you can see right now these are the list of the candidates who have qualified for uh, jrf net csir okay and these are the only students like 2185 students are there who have to submit these documents which have been listed in the uh, in the particular notice okay or for whom this particular notice is actually about now you can see over here this particular uh, pdf i'll attach with uh, in the description we'll get the link to download this PDF in the description now you can see that this list goes up to uh, the 16th page okay up, up to the 15th page you will get that and after that you have some candidates who have just qualified for uh, like who have applied for JRF only and these are rest, uh, those and who have been selected for uh, CSIR JRF okay the rest uh, these are for like up from your page number 16 onwards from your page number 16 onwards these are the students who have qualified for JRF UGC net okay so they have qualified for UGC JRF basically so they don't have to send all these documents okay only these much students have to do that so uh, I'll be giving you the, the PDF link you can just download and check out that if you are CSIR JRF or UGC JRF I guess by now you all are already aware about but in case for any confusion you can recheck that and if you are CSIR JRF you have to follow this particular video completely okay so in this uh, notice these things you have to send um, and the, the list of the documents are over here you have to send your marks statement that is your scorecard that you can get it by logging in into into that NTA website okay in the NTA website there is an option to to get your scorecard so you can just open that NTA website and go for it okay 
uh, I'll show you that how you can do that. So over here, this is the NTA website. You can see it says that the JRF letters or net E certificates for the students who have qualified for the assistant professor and junior research fellowship that is JRF or CSIR uh, of UGC net December 2019 is available now and you can download it uh, through the application number or the roll number. So this I will tell that how to download e-certificate in a separate video because that's a different process. But right now this video is only for those who have qualified uh, the JRF. Okay. So for them, you can just go over here, uh, view or result, view results slash scorecard. Just click over here, uh, provide your application number, date of birth and the security pin and just submit it. You will get your scorecard. So you have to download that scorecard, send it and along with that you have to send your admit card okay the admit card which you have taken along with your um, like uh, during your exam apart from that you also have to send your 10th uh, mark sheet 10th class mark sheet you also have to send your degree or provisional degree that means uh, for your masters if you are in the masters if you have already qualified you have to send that a degree if you have if you are in the masters and you are still there or you are still pursuing your masters then you have to apply for a provisional degree okay you have to ask this provisional degree to your university and they will provide you this so you have to send that also then also you have to uh, send the final mark sheet with the required percentage of marks if let's say you are in masters you have not yet qualified it so you can skip this particular step okay now cgpa sgpa ogpa cpi etc conversion formula should also be there in the university's uh, mark sheet so that they can convert that into the percentage form then the next thing is verification of marks uh, in case of dual degree. So if you have dual degree, you have to tell, uh, like you have to also submit the verification of the marks slash period. SCST certificate, if it is available or it is applicable basically, or, and the latest OBC SCAR certificate, if you belong to non creamy layer. So these certificates, if you belong to these categories, you have to submit that. If you belong to the general category or the unreserved category, you don't have to apply for, like you don't have to submit 0 0.8 and 0 0.9, okay? Uh, then uh, uh, like PWD candidates, they have to submit uh, the certificates as per the government rules. Income and the SS certificate also you have to submit. So all those students who have who have applied under economically weaker sections, EWS section, uh, they have to submit their uh, like the income and the SS certificate, which is uh, which should be according to the government rules. Okay. Now how to send these things? So yeah, see, it's written that candidates who have applied under reserved awaited category MSc or equivalent should submit the required document only after completion of their requisite qualification. So once you are done with all those things, then you have to submit that the those particular uh, documents. Okay, up till yet, up till that time, you don't have to submit anything. Okay, the next thing is candidates are required to send the above mentioned documents uh, by post to this particular address so this is the address given to you so you can either send it by post or you can email uh, using this particular uh, email id okay so you can submit it through this particular email id remember that if you are submitting this through through the post okay through post then uh, you must mention on the envelope that these are the documents for net exam december 2019 and your roll number also so these things you have to mention so if you are a CSIR JRF, if you have qualified under that, uh, it's required to send all these things. Make sure that you send it by the correct time so that your uh, CSIR JRF letter should arrive you as early as possible. So that's all for this particular video, guys. I just wanted to inform you about it. If you have any doubts, if you want to ask anything regarding all these things, uh, you can ask that in the comment sections below. Remember, if you are UGC JRF, you don't have to do that, okay? If you are CSIR JRF, then only you have to do because these documents has to be sent to uh, the CSIR complex. So CSIR takes care of that. Okay, UGC does not ask for any documents. They will directly send the uh, the uh, the JRF letter to your uh, to your uh, permanent address. And about net, I will make a separate video, right? So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to this channel, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, and uh, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.